from LeBron James starting the super team culture to Draymond kicking his opponents where the sun don't shine. Here are some NBA players that you love to hate, starting with Dwight Howard. Howard has been the go-to guy for many years for NBA fans who want to vent their anger. It started during his one year in Los Angeles. Rondo set him up beautifully. That's when the eight-time All-Star didn't always get along with Kobe Bryant, who's considered the best player of all time. Then, in just three years with the Houston team, Howard fell out of favor. Ultimately, it led him to signing with his hometown team, the Atlanta Hawks. It was a sort of reunion, but it only lasted one season, during which Howard had the worst season of his career. You have to wonder what could have been. NBA fans don't hate this next player as much as they used to. Lonzo Ball. More than anything, he's in the spotlight because of his loud and annoying father, but that also allowed him to become one of the most well-known players. Because of this, players and fans alike have criticized Lonzo like crazy ever since he debuted in the NBA. He averages 8.7 points, 6.9 rebounds, and 7 assists per game. Not bad at all, but his shooting splits are just plain horrible. He only makes 40% of his shots and 57% of his free throws. Ball will continue to get press, both good and bad, because he's playing for a big market team like the Bulls. But one thing is for certain, he's definitely becoming a much better player, and that's why he's been growing on the fans as of late. So hopefully he can keep up the good work. But with this next guy, it's been the opposite. He went from being pretty liked to straight up hated ever since the 2016 season. Yup, it's Raymond Green. Now let me be real about some things from the get-go. You cannot keep kicking other guys in the crown jewels and expect to be popular in other NBA cities. And you can't keep complaining that there aren't enough foul calls without being seen as a baby. That's all Green's fault. But in Oakland, Green's popularity is mostly due to how much he loves and cares about the game. Here's a guy who is the Warriors' soul and heart. Curry, separating, dishing, Looney extra feed to Green for the flush. Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, who were both MVPs, never got this honor. Green is the key, but because of how vocal and aggressive he can be at times, he ends up receiving a ton of hate from fans. Plus, he isn't the same player he once was, so even Warriors fans get annoyed with him at times. But I guess that's what happened when you have a dude like Green on your team. Valanciunas won a foul. There's a lot of contact on the way up. Green with the runway! Look out! And speaking of tough guys, everyone loves to hate this next player as well. And that's none other than Kevin Garnett. KG was a literal menace on the court, and if fans had to watch him face off against their team, they were in for a very long night. He was one of the most intense dudes in the league during his prime. I mean, Garnett asked Craig Sager if he had ever been in a bar fight, hit Channing Fry in the crown jewels. And worst of all, he said happy Mother's Day to Tim Duncan, whose mother passed away because of cancer. Yeah. Yikes. Sure, his craziness gave fans a lot of memorable moments as well, but I don't think anyone outside of Boston and mini fans liked him. Though, as bad as he was, at least he didn't try to injure people. I'm talking about Kelly Olynyk. This dude's been hopping from one team to another for years, and he's never been able to do much of value. Plus, he's always making trouble on the court, so he doesn't have many friends in the association. It's how he plays the game, because of how rough he is on the court, which is his MO. I mean, he's basically one of the reasons why the Cavs weren't at full strength back in the 2015 finals. But while people hate Kelly for his dirty plays, like the one against Kevin Love. Olenek and Love fighting for it. And this is going to be cool. Did Love hurt? Did Love hurt himself? Yes, he did. His shoulder popped out. Yeah, he ran right yeah, past he's going us, right yeah. to the locker room. Right I think to... his shoulder popped out, so a big moment here. People hate this next guy because he's always in his feelings. It's none other than DeMarcus Cousins. Like Draymond Green, Cousins let his feelings get the best of him on the court. It caused him to get too many technical fouls and get suspended more than once. It also caused a big rift between Cousins and his old Sacramento Kings team before the All-Star Center was traded to New Orleans. The problem for Cousins is that he was one of the most talented big men in the association, but his quick temper made him sometimes do things he should not have done. And to make matters worse, he's no longer a star player because of his injuries. And because of this, some people in the NBA don't see Cousins as a franchise player. Now, for the next guy, he went from being beloved to hated because of one decision. It's Kevin Durant. KD was literally the definition of a fan favorite during his OKC days. 
I mean, he was the guy that everyone was rooting for. And when he won the 2014 MVP award and gave his iconic You the Real MVP speech, fans just loved him even more. But then, things took a turn for the worse, all thanks to his decision to join the Warriors. The two-time champ and finals MVP's reputation was completely ruined by this event. Back in July 2016, Durant shocked everyone by leaving the Thunder and joining the Golden State Warriors, who had just won 73 games. And the worst part was that he literally blew a 3-1 lead to them in the Western Conference Finals just a few months before that. Yeah, talk about being absolutely shameless. Fans genuinely couldn't believe what he did. Since then, a lot has changed in how people around the country think of Durant. He went from being the NBA's darling to the NBA's villain because he was responsible for ruining the NBA's balance for three years. Did he just pinch his fingers as if to say, like, don't, he didn't put his hand down. He's like, this, this too little? You're tiny. This close. You're too you think tiny. This close, Evan. I gotta get a look at this one. And as time has gone on, he's made things worse for himself by constantly acting so immature on Twitter and responding to hate. Also, LeBron fans especially dislike the Slim Reaper because he basically deprived the king of two rings. Though, speaking of LeBron, this list would be incomplete without him. And that's why he's the final entry on the list. Some people in the NFL really don't like Tom Brady at all. My Mike Trout isn't as loved by baseball fans outside of LA as many would expect. And the same goes for James in the realm of the NBA. Fans have had a strong dislike for the four-time champ ever since his decision to form the Big Three Heat back in 2010. Many credit him for starting the super team culture, rather than teams winning it all the right way. And that involves having one star player surrounded by a fantastic roster. Instead, James assembled one of the strongest teams in league history. Fans were living and still haven't forgiven him for his decision. And to make matters worse, he's been trying to form another super team in LA, but he hasn't been too successful, minus 2020. What's more, playing the part of general manager on the side wherever he goes hasn't done him any favors either. And neither is him flopping like crazy and complaining about foul calls. Though one of the main reasons some fans hate him is that he's simply too good. And that's especially the case for Golden State fans. I mean, when LeBron went beast mode back in 2016 to come back from a 3-1 deficit. Warriors fans felt true pain, and I don't think they can ever forgive him for it. And with that, that's all for the NBA players you love to hate. Coming to the end of the third quarter, LeBron James, a shot in history. LeBron stands alone! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.